How many amateur fights have you had so far then? I had 80, just over 80 I think, yes. Okay, which would you say was your toughest one? Uh, last June I fought in the Slovakian Olympic qualifiers, June 2016, yes. Um, and I won it, um, I did pretty well, it was my hardest fight definitely, up to date. Um, I won it, um, made a Slovakian Olympic team, but they decided to send the guy that I beat. Um, Still to the Olympic qualifiers and he oh, failed wow. the drop test and it all which, fell apart. Which Olympics, which year would that have been uh, in? 2016, Rio. Yeah. Okay, Rio. Yeah, so most recent one. Alright. So, the choice for me was to either wait around or go pro, but I yeah. wouldn't want to go pro, so I decided to. And now you're with Assassin's Promotions? Yes, Assassin's That's working out really well for you so far? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, alright. How do you feel about your fight coming up tonight? Do you think that will be comparable to your toughest or. How, yes, do you, how do you see definitely. this fight going? Uh, mentally, definitely my toughest fight because it's, it's been coming so long, you know, and this is the big one, you know. Yeah. There's no, no mistakes can be made anymore, you know, this is professional. Um, but I'm ready for the job, you know, I prepared really well. And even the two cancellations, the first two cancellations, yeah. really made me hungrier and gave me more time to train and prepare for the professional style, you know. So mm. it's all good now. Well, okay. Of all the boxers that you've seen, obviously you've been a boxing fan, I would assume, for quite some time. Who would you say is your best boxer or your favourite boxer to watch on TV? Uh, Triple G. Definitely. Triple G? Yes, yes. Yeah. I'd like to compare quite myself to him. So. Quite solid. <laughs> definitely, yes. Yeah. Definitely yeah. my favourite fighter. Absolutely. Um, what, makes him your, what makes him the best fighter f from your point? Uh, well, similar style as me. Okay. Uh, the way he walks down his opponents, you know, the way he goes through anything, you know, he just walks through, walks through and walks every opponent down. and knocks them out, you know, you don't see that often, you know, you see boxers playing it safe, but he doesn't, he's going to take a punch, you know, to give a few, so. That's, that's true. What like, that's what I like about him. So if we were to describe your style of fighting, what, how, how, would, how would we do, do that? I like to be aggressive as well, walk my opponent down, you know, walk him down and uh, eventually break him down, that's what I like to do, you know. Oh, okay, so the Triple G, Mike Tyson type yeah. style, yeah? Yeah, breaking down my opponent, yeah. That's like good, that. that's good, that's good. So we should expect from your career going forward, all KOs, no, no 12 rounders? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. When you, when you said that you're, you, know, you named one of your toughest fighters as an amateur, what made it a tough fight? Was it a case of conditioning or was it the opponent? What uh, made it a tough fight? My opponent was very, very strong, very fit. And uh, out of 70 fights I think that he had before, he only lost once. So he was a really, really high level boxer. And, uh, but I prepared well for him, my preparation went great. And, had to dig deep in the third round to, to pull it off, but I did eventually because my strength and conditioning was very good. My boxing skills were very good, so I managed to stay focused and get the job done. What kind of things would you say helped with the conditioning to, 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 to take you further in your career? I started doing strength and conditioning maybe two years ago. Before that, I didn't do it much, but it made a massive difference to me. Like, I'm very fit, like, I can spare 10 fill of rounds, you know, no problem. Like, I get a, I'm very fit, like I'm very strong. My, my power stays for the full, say maybe if I'm spending seven, eight, ten rounds, you know, my power stays for the whole duration, you know, I don't fade. So that's why it's good for me to break my opponents down because I just, I feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger, you know, as they get weaker, mm. I feel like I'm getting more and more and more. So, so that's interesting. Fun. It's almost like, as you touched on earlier with uh, Chris Eubank Jr., there's a slight similarity in the way you've described yourself as far as having a, a, a good engine to keep yeah, going throughout yeah, the fights. Yeah, yeah. So that would be a good fight to see one day, actually, yourself and Definitely, Junior. Definitely, yes. If he's if still <laughs> around by that time, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Okay. What, what's your plans for the next 12 months? Um, I'm fighting tonight, obviously. Yeah. I'm fighting on the 24th in Bournemouth. Um, then I'm fighting April. I'm not, I'm not sure where that is, but I have another fight lined up in April, and then we'll see where it takes me from there. You know, okay. my promoter has a good plan for me, made out, and hopefully get some title by the end of the year. You know. Yeah. Or maybe Slovakian title or Irish title or something like that, definitely. So by the end of the top, within the next 12 months, hopefully, like you said, either Slovakian or Irish, definitely. maybe even Lonsdale? Yes, definitely. Definitely pick up some title. Yeah. Okay, well, I wish you all the best tonight, obviously, and I um, wish you all the best of your career going forward. Thanks very much.